Here we are in sun-drenched Dusseldorf, a couple of days away from England against Slovakia in the last 16 of the Euros. We're going to record a deep dive with our own Darren Bent. So let's dive straight in. Um, there's been a lot of criticism aimed at Gareth Southgate so far. The suggestion is that England really are just keeping their heads above water as far as this tournament has gone and they're, they're playing a little bit with a life jacket on. How would you respond to that? Yeah, I don't think they've been very good, actually, uh, up until this point. Um, they did qualify in the group. They did win the group. Um, but maybe sometimes people are just getting a little bit carried away. But the performances, as we all know, haven't been great. But I fully expect it now to be better because of where we are now in the tournament. It's a business end. We know that one sloppy performance and we get beat. There's no second chances now. We're gone. So we all know and we're all hoping for a better performance. I mean, it's not the first time that England have emerged from a group at a major tournament and it hasn't all been plain sailing. We saw it in Euro 96, back in Italia 90 as well. History tells us they may well improve and they could yet make a splash at these Euros. Well, it almost feels like a lot of the players are submerged in, uh, in pressure. And I think at times they need to kind of... I, I know I've, I've been there in terms of playing for your country. It's so much pressure. But some of them need to relax and, and understand what, like, the, the opportunity they've got because... Certainly, as long as I can remember, this squad that Gareth's got to pick from, they are loaded. And I mean, loaded with talent and, and it, it can be a heavy shirt to wear. But I think all us as England fans, if we put a performance in and get beat, I think a lot of England fans will go, do you know what? That's fair enough. But what you don't want to see is England kind of whimper out where the performances hasn't been great. And this is no disrespect to Slovakia. Like, England player for player are better than Slovakia. If we were to go out, go out to Slovakia, for me, it'd be seen as, as, as real disappointing and even as far as failure. Because Drew Benlin was incredible for Real Madrid. Phil Foden, Harry Kane, Declan Rice, Carl Walker. We've got so many players, top, top players. If we can't beat a Slovakian side that have, listen, have done well, have got some good players, then what does that say about our national team? Let's talk about that midfield anchor role because obviously we've seen a lot of chopping and changing there. Started a tournament with Trent Alexander-Arnold. Conor Gallagher comes in for a half. We think Kobe Mainu may well get the shout for this game. Is that the right decision? Well, when I look in that particular area of the pitch, um, I think there's a lot of depth there. Um, for me, I would definitely go Declan Rice, the holder, maybe move Drew Benlin back to the eight and then put Phil Foden in. I think that's what a lot of England fans have wanted to see. Uh, Kobe Maynard, I think, did really well when he came on, to be fair. Looked really comfortable in possession. But for me, they're the three I want to see. And, and that might mean Jude having to uh, kind of adjust his position slightly. If that's the case, and that's what he's going to have to do. Now, that then depends on Jude. If he wants to do it and is prepared to do it, then he'll have no arguments. If he doesn't, then Gareth's got to a decision to make but I think by trying to shoehorn Foden in the left and get Jude in the 10 it just hasn't worked yet so that's the three I want to see better than Rice and Foden. Gary Lineker has certainly ruffled a few feathers with the criticism of the England team and the, the derogatory way in which he described their performance against Denmark. Are you happy with the way they've reacted? Should it not be water off a duck's back really those kind of comments? Well do you know at times and it's surprising in England squad because some of them look like a fish out of water. It, it's one of those where you go how could a, a team of full of superstars that have been so good all of a sudden come together and not play very well and I think what Gareth, Gary Lineker said I think was constructive I don't think it was personal I don't think it was below the belt I think he said what a lot of England fans have been watching and certainly about Harry Kane is that his performance just haven't been good enough like we 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 expect so much from Harry because of how good he's been and the standards he's set and in this tournament we haven't seen it yes he's got himself a goal which is a positive but his general all-round play for someone who for me is one of the best in the world if not the best centre forward on the planet just hasn't been there and what about Jude Bellingham as well? Played really well for the first hour of the first game of the tournament. Is he drowning a little bit under the pressure? I would say he's drowning, but I just think at the minute, I thought he was brilliant against Serbia. I think he was our best player. But the last two games, it just looks like that maybe the long season that he's had starting to catch up with him a little bit. And he's trying to do maybe a little bit too much. Um, but I get that. You get that with superstars. When, when things start to go wrong, they feel they can do it themselves and can really put a performance in. But listen, Jude's performances this season have been incredible. Jude for England has been brilliant. I expect those performances to continue. Yes, he's had a, two, a couple of below par games, but I think the next one against Slovakia, I believe, with a few tweaks to the system and a few personnel changes, I, feel, I think we'll see the very best of Jude again against Slovakia. We haven't really seen the best of Phil Foden yet either. Is, is this sink or swim time for him in an England shirt? Um, potentially, but I think by putting him into that number 10, I think we'll see the best of him. I think everyone wants to see Phil Foden in the 10. He always looks more comfortable coming from a central area. And again, it comes down to Bellingham. And I think superstars, if you haven't got the ego, which I don't think Jude Bellingham has, he looks like a really level-headed guy. I've not met him, but he looks it. I think if Gareth says to him, listen, I need you to adjust your position, go into the eight, I think Jude will do it. And that will free up the role for, for Foden. And that's where I expect then, there's no excuses then.
There's no, you're not playing in your proper position. This is where we all want to see Phil Foden. So once he gets that 10 berth, then there's no excuses. You've been part of an England team when it hasn't worked out well. Obviously, back when you played under Steve McLaren, you didn't qualify. You know how how aggressive the British media can be. If, if England were to lose this game against Slovakia, what, 48th in the world? The Sharks are going to be circling, aren't they? Yeah, again, I mean, if they put in a level of performance, right, and they don't, they can't score, like, they've hit the post bar, keeps making worldly saves, and Slovakia score from a set play, yes, of course, the, 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 the press will be... England have failed, you got beat by Slovakia, but Slovakia are a good side. And we, again, we're expecting England to be better because of the players they've got, but we haven't seen that level of performance yet. So until we see that, then I think expectations need to be dampened a little bit. But again, I fully expect England to, to beat Slovakia with the players we've got and put in a level of performance. Is it time for Gareth to take the life belt off? The life belt? What's a life belt? I don't even know what a life belt is. <laughs> Just let them go out and attack. Take the handbrake off and just let them go and play. And I think if they do that, England will go and win. We're going to make a splash on Sunday night. Oh, quickly, let it go now. We're done. <laughs> We're done. <laughs>